So Billy, it was your first competitive game in charge of Tadcaster Albion today. Are you pleased with the performance? Yeah, got to be delighted with a win first game of the season and then to score six goals at home obviously gives people something to go home and talk about. So we go through the goals then. The first yeah. one, uh, lovely play by John Armstrong breaking down the right hand side. Mm -hmm. Penalty and then Liam Olmsby stepped up. Yeah, well, we, we, you know, I know Jordan's got that in his locker. I've had him for the best part of nine months now, so uh, great to see him getting forward. Great to see him linking up with Baker, who I thought had a great game as well. Um, and the, the penalty was dispatched nicely by Liam. Yeah, great, cool finish for the first goal of the season. And the second and third came round very quickly together, didn't they? The mm. second one, Nick Black got his first goal for the game. Yeah, no, I thought Nick worked tirelessly for us, and um, he's got Nick's got that ability to get up early and then hang in the air. Mm. Wins a lot of evidence for us, so. Again, that's something we'll utilise as the season goes on. Um, spoke to the lads at half time about getting in behind when he does win the flicks. And uh, what he does very well is he gets up and he directs his headers as well. But yeah, great to see him on the score sheet. And like I said, the third one came out very quickly after yeah. Joe Thornton uh, great went through. So he went it from the left hand side off yeah. the half volley. Great finish, great finish by Joe. Uh, well, we, we know what Joe's capable of. We you know he's 22 goals last season, so we know he's going to get us goals and he works tirelessly. and. He's, he's very, very analytical of his own performance, but uh, you know, he just said to me then that he didn't have a great game today, but he's, he's got two goals, so can't wait to see him when he has a good game. On to our fourth goal of the day, Jimmy Beadle. We said last week Bells were going this week, and yeah. they didn't it? Free oh, kick. Very similar to the Spennymore free kick, on it? Here yeah, last week, and last pre-season friendly, so we know Jimmy's got that in his locker. Um, he, he, he spoke about it, he said to me that the keeper built the wall and then stood behind it, and it was always on. The minute he struck it, it was, it was only going to pitch him in place. Yeah. 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 Yeah, on to the fifth, another great goal, Josh Green and cutting side from the right-hand mm. side. Struck the crossbar, thought we were going to lose that chance and then Joe Thornton pops up again. Pops up again, yeah. yeah. Josh Green in as well, worth a mention. Uh, worked tirelessly up there as well. Um, I think once he finds his way with, certainly with Baker and Conway and um, Joe Thornton and Mick Black, you know, and the people we've got to come on, Josh Parrott as well. Um, I think will be formidable going forward. So yeah, great, great for Joe to get his second, and to be fair, should have had his third. His dad's just mm. told me. <laughs> uh, on to the sixth goal of the day, and uh, another, another brilliant goal, wasn't it? Paddy Miller yeah. broke out, mm. absolutely burst through the middle, about 30, 40 yards, and then played in George yeah. substitute Conway. Yeah, no, and we said to George once he picked the ball up that it was one v one, and that he should get at, uh, and he did it really well, shifted it well, and then finished it really coolly. Slight downside because they exceeded three goals. <laughs> Yeah. Are you bothered about that or are you bothered about um, that? Yeah, it's a slight, slight concern in terms of, I think at times we look absolutely brilliant going forward, but we've got to understand there is a, a big responsibility, um, certainly when we're out of possession, the transition's got to be a little bit better. But, you know, we'll give them benefit of the doubt today. We've played a, a, a decent more main side here today. You, you have got threats right throughout the team. Um, and I think their, their first goal was a really, really good strike. Um, to get the second and third, slightly disappointed, but we've put that down to it being extremely hot, uh, difficult for the lads to maintain the momentum, and being 3 0 up at half time, it, sometimes it's difficult then to maintain that into the second half. So we'll, we'll take the win, we'll take the three points, we'll take the six goals, and we'll move on. What did you say to the lads at full time? Um, I just said to them that we, we've got a bit sloppy at times, um, that's something that we need to deal with. Um, we need to understand our roles and responsibilities better out of possession. Um, but what I did say to them was congratulations on you know to score six on the first day of the season. Sets a benchmark for us um, and we'll let teams know that you know we're serious about this. You know, we want to go on and, and give it our best shot. I know there's other teams in the league who are doing the same, but I know it's early doors, so we'll take it one game at a time and move on to Parkgate on Tuesday. Yeah, quick mention on that game, Tuesday night, Parkgate, another home game. Yeah, another home game. I, I mean, you've got to be happy with that. The first two games of the season, both at home. So, again, I'm sure, you know, we what we've got to do now is maintain the momentum and make sure we take the form, certainly going forward today into, into Tuesday night's game. I've got a couple of questions from social media now. All right, okay. Hashtag Ask Billy, yeah, yeah, yeah. going around. Right, OK. From uh, Tia. TAFC fan page, which player impressed you most today and why? Um, I think the, I'm going to, a bit of a cop out because I'm going to say a collective group of players. I thought Baker, Black and Greening when they combined at times were oh, phenomenal mm -hmm. and the movement in and around the, the soft final third were great. I um, thought Joel Thornton's finishing was absolutely first class. Um, I thought two lads in the middle of the park worked really, really hard, you know, and, and 
Jordan Armstrong had it. So collectively across the team, I thought it was quite a good team performance. But certainly the standouts would be, you know, uh, Baker, um, Josh Green, and Nick Black. We'll give the last say to Captain Chickers. Right. Yeah. Uh, does Dewey Beadle emulate your leg power? Does he emulate my leg power? Um, I used to strike him ten times harder than that. Um, in terms of, of, of certainly when I play, so I'm, he's not quite there yet anyway. Uh, and he's certainly nowhere near as fit as I was. I think we'll leave it on that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>